Avengers Age of Ultron. Next week we get back to talking about good Marvel movies. Guardians of the Galaxy next week. Also Ant-Man's next week. So we also go from a good one to a bad one. So we got Age of Ultron. The worst Avengers movie, kind of. I think parts of Endgame are some of the worst the MCU has to offer. But I'll talk about that when I get to that movie. But this movie isn't the worst thing ever, I guess. But it's just like... Here's the thing. This movie, it does not feel like a Josh Whedon movie. It doesn't have any of his stuff. Sure, some of the dialogue feels like a Josh Whedon, but not the whole movie. It doesn't feel like it's directed like a Josh Whedon movie. This movie is very obviously a major setup for the Avengers. Future MCU movies. You know, we get setups for Endgame. We get setups for Thor Ragnarok. We get setups for Vision and Wanda and... And Quicksilver is in this movie and dies. I know some people liked that character and wanted to come back. No. They did not do that character justice. And I'm still a belief that they didn't do Wanda justice. Because in the comics, she's Magneto's uh, daughter. And so is Quicksilver. And so kind of just killing them before we ever get a Magneto is really bad. And also introducing those characters before we do get that is really sad because now you can't have that kind of relationship that is a really awesome relationship in the comics. So now we don't get that, but whatever. I, I enjoy what they did with Wanda, but Quicksilver's actor was terrible. He doesn't he doesn't do a good job in this movie. He's horrible. In fact, a lot of the acting in this movie is really off. There's some really off plot points like Black Widow and the Hulk story. That's just so strange. And it's just like, there's this whole subplot about how she can't have kids. And I'm like, I didn't show up to an Avengers movie to watch this subplot. It's really weird and gross, and I just don't want to watch that. And it's just a boring movie. It's just a boring, boring movie. The action at times is cool and fun, but there's no stakes. I remember the original trailers for this movie hyped it up. Like, it was going to be this dark story and you're going to see Ultron being dark and causing problems. But he didn't do anything. And he, and he kind of just, Vision came in and he's Deic Sex Machina. And he just up and kills Ultron. And people are saying he should come back. And I agree with that. Because the way he went out in this movie was bullcrap. And I want to see him come back in some capacity and be an actual threat. Unlike in this movie. Where he was terrible. And I know there's a lot of fan theories. Ultron is still out there. There's even a part in Spider-Man Homecoming. Where they pull out, he pulls out an Ultron head from a bag. So I don't know. I want to see that. That'd be awesome. But it didn't happen. And this movie is just one of the worst Marvel movies. And a lot of that has to do how ugly the color palette is. How confusing the plot points is. And how long this movie feels. This movie is... How long is this movie? 141 minutes. So that's like... 2 hours and 20 minutes. And that's not longer than most Marvel movies. But it feels so much longer because it really doesn't need to be this long. And just there's just plot points that you're watching like, there had to be a better way to set this up. Do I need to watch Thor in, a sh in, in the shower shirtless doing whatever he does with that one guy? No. But whatever, it's just it's just irritating, it's frustrating, it's just bad. And even Joss Whedon quit doing Marvel movies because the way they treated him on this movie was just so messed up. They didn't want to give him creative freedoms and allow him to do anything. And so he's like, okay, fine, if you're not going to do that, screw you, I'm leaving. And I don't blame him because this movie turned out terrible. And it's just bad. Sure, I like the Hulkbuster fight. I like some of the fight scenes within this movie. But overall, it's boring and it's bad and no one should watch it. 